recognize it. They never. They and never. then they'd have pictures of her on a yacht with champagne. With <laughs> <laughs> John, you know what? Um, let's see what else I wanted to ask you. Um, art films. I wanted to ask you about uh, Hollywood films. Are there yeah. any film that you really? Oh, I love like? Hollywood films. I, I, I mean, contemporary films. I don't mean. Yeah. Things instance, that I like recently, those two films I just talked about. Right. I liked uh, Another Country, all right, I saw that last night. Uh -huh. Hollywood movies, I liked Indiana Jones. Did you? Yeah, I didn't like the first one. Yeah. What was that called? I Raiders. Forget. Raiders, yeah. But the I liked this one, one because I liked it better, it was more violent. You yeah, know? right. And uh, I like all different kind of films, really. I don't have anything against Hollywood films. Well, I think certainly. people have a certain image about you, John. No, I go to just see like everything. weird. I go to, no, I like Walt Disney's last movie very much. Something Wicked This Way comes out. Oh, I right. love that, that movie. <laughs> I like um, all sorts of things. I mean, I, I don't like just like weird movies. Uh, I like all kinds of films. I go to see almost everything. I draw oh. the line. I didn't see Yentl. I, there's a few <laughs> that, that no. I, that I no have comment. to draw the line at. Uh -huh. But uh, I go to see most everything. Well, that's, that's good. Um, and we'll be looking forward to seeing, uh, you don't know when the next film will be out. It'll well, be at least I think a we're gonna year, film, right? Yeah, at least. I think we're going to film it in the spring, Flamingos Forever. And then Flamingos Hatchet Forever. Face, I'm, I'm not sure because I'm still writing that one. Right. And Flamingos Forever will be a major... Well, movie. I hope. <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> I guess that's length. up to the public to say, <laughs> yeah, it will be long enough. It'll be long enough. <laughs> that's all enough. I can guarantee. <laughs> and it will be with Divine. Yeah. Have you ever thought about doing theater? No, theater makes me really yeah, right. nervous. Yeah, right. You don't like theater you know, at all. It's, well, I... I don't I don't I personally am uncomfortable in the theater because there's sort of this highbrow attitude about going to the theater. Right. A. B, I'll tell you why I don't go to the theater. The living theater I think should be in jail. Because when they would come and involve people in the audience, that's why I, I would live in fear of that. Of people coming over and getting a come on up here. Oh my <laughs> god. I mean, that's why I think they should have been arrested. That's why I never go to the theater anymore. It's because of the living theater. Really because yeah. of Peter Brecht. Huh. Um so it's just movies that you're going to continue. Yeah, and murder Is there a trials. New, and murder <laughs> trials, right. And there's not a new book or anything. No, anymore. I haven't written a new book. I'd like to write, uh, I think in about 10 years, I'll write another thing like Shock Value, you know, about the last 10 right. years of my life. You know? How did your family deal with the, your success? My and family, there's a whole chapter about them in Shock Value. Right. They were always very supportive of me. Uh, my father lent me the money to make pink flamingos as long as I didn't tell anybody. <laughs> Uh, my parents are very, very conservative. They've never seen Pink Flamingos. No. They said, if you want us to, we'll come, but why put them through it? I yeah, mean, exactly. There's no reason to force them to watch something. My mother left once one of my films, Weeping, and one of the early ones, Mondo Trasher, because there was a scene where there was a shrimp job, somebody sucking somebody's feet. Right. My mother said, how could you think of that? There's no such thing as that. No such thing. <laughs> but. Um, I get along with them. You know, they've been very good to me. I mean, there were periods during my life when there was some, certainly some strains. I think I put them through a lot. Right. But they always stuck behind it. Now they're proud. You know, it's very weird. My mother says, come over. We're having a party. We want to show you off. I thought, why? I did the same thing I did before. Right. Just because I was on the cover of the Wall Street Journal. Uh -huh. That legitimized it to my family forever. Oh, that's great. You're an only uh, child? No, it? no. I have three brothers and sisters. Ah. How do they feel about well, it? Well, they? they've all been in the films and walk oh, really? on parts and stuff. They feel, I think, that their life, they get never got in any trouble because after me, <laughs> <They're right. laughs> they look great. Yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> oh, God. I can't even imagine you having brothers and sisters. Okay? Oh, I do, you know. Um, Real middle class family, huh? Yeah, yeah. I mean, See, your well, image my, is so different. But it was very weird because my, my mother's brother was the undersecretary of the interior for Nixon. Oh, so my goodness. It was very strange. I got invited to the White House this year. I swear, because really? of the Reagan White House. Which was Why so didn't you bizarre. go? I did go. And tell me about that. <laughs> well, it wasn't Reagan. It was his deputy deputy advisor of political affairs. Was a big fan of my films. He's the, Reagan's top aide, and his office is the Watergate office. He showed me where the recorders were hidden. He showed me Nixon's bathroom where they still left the emergency button. Oh, you're. And kidding. they told me to bring a date, and I brought a man, which might have thrown them off. <laughs> We uh, had lunch there in this little dining room. They, they gave us a tour of all, and we got Reagan cufflinks. It was so weird. I mean, oh, bizarre, but you didn't get to meet him. No, he wasn't there. Uh. But um, it was very, very strange. You know, and we left, and I thought, God, how did that happen? I mean, ten years ago, I was in riots out front, mm -hmm. and of all the administrations to be invited to that one for these films was only in America could that happen. Really, only in and America. And really, the funniest film of the year is the 18-minute thing the Republican Party produced for Ronald Reagan at the convention. Did you see it? No, I didn't. Oh, it's the Reefer Madness of 1990. Nope. I mean, it's the, it will be a great midnight movie. It's so appalling. 
Because I hate both candidates, but I like to vote three and four times in every election. I think voter fraud is something you should do. If you believe in a candidate, go but I try to vote a lot. I'm really an American. Huh. And you vote more than once oh, in an yes. election? Yeah. How do you manage that? Well, I'm maybe not going to oh, say. Oh, maybe you shouldn't say. Okay. But it's very easy. It is. <laughs> I encourage voter fraud. To be really American, you know, the Tej always have to vote. We always heard that in school as the one privilege as an American. So I want to be more of an American. So just vote all day long in different precincts. It's Who really are you going to vote for? Will you tell I us? Don't, I don't know. I don't like either one of them. So you know, maybe you'll do a write-in vote. No, I don't know who I'm going to vote for. I'm, I'm really a Carol politically Strassen. confused person. <laughs> Because uh -huh. in some issues I'm very conservative and in some issues I'm very radical. So I usually vote for right-wing candidates and the president and then vote for the most radical candidates locally and figure it will even out <laughs> to what I want. <laughs> well, John, it's really been a pleasure. I would like to ask you, if you would, to sign this polyester odorama Any card for me. Any particular number you have as a favorite? <laughs> yeah, number <particularly>. two? <laughs> number two. <laughs> I won't say which one it is. Um, Number two. And I want to thank you for joining us sure, here at Interview. Fun. I've never been on television in Providence. In Providence. Yeah. Well, believe me, very few of us have. Thank you. <laughs> sure. Um, John will be coming out with a new movie. And uh, in Provincetown, we always bring his movies back Polyester, Desperate Living, Female <laughs> Trouble, Pink Flamingos. So if you're in town, please see them. They're very interesting <coughs> movies. Well, that's how you get out of saying you don't like them. You never say it. When you go backstage to people after a play, you right. say it was very, very interesting. interesting. Man, you hated it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us at Interview. Uh, we'll be back next week with a new guest, and it was a pleasure, John. Thank you. Sure. Good night.